So we're in round three. Let's give this a shot. So I will play first. And this is not an optimal hand. Probably going to mulligan this. This is better, but not amazing. Alright, so I'll keep that. And I will Thought Seize. Just see what we're up against. Another mirror match. But this guy has really got a good hand. Alright, well. Not much I can do there. So we're mirror matching, and he's got the advantage. I, you know, decided to hold on to the Ornithopter here, just so I could kind of keep my deck a mystery for a few more turns, if he doesn't already know what I'm playing. He's at least not entirely sure. This guy has an explosive hand. The kind of hand that I dream about drawing. This really is the other version of this deck that I've been looking into. It's more of an aggressive build. Alright, so Overseer seems like it has to be the pick. And the game's pretty much over. I mean, he's going to have a an active Steel Overseer. And once that happens, the game is essentially over. but we'll keep trucking along. And at least this way it'll be buffing all the artifacts. Alright, so he's got nothing to exile. Alright, so really you're going to have to take... 8 damage. Yeah, this game is basically over, but might as well just keep trucking along. Alright, still waiting for the go-ahead. Alright, so that's game. Alright, so hopefully we'll uh, have better luck next game. It's kind of a shame to be facing so many mirror matches. It's not usual. Alright, so I think Trinket Mages can go. Um, persecutions in... And I like Path to Exiles here. The Trinket Mage really doesn't do that much. I think the removal will be more important, so we'll go with that. Alright, 